This is the 5700 XT. Released July 7th, 2019, this card has been really famous for some pretty good 1080p to 1440p gaming, but also notorious for having some really bad heat problems, on all versions. I'm going to be putting it up against its bigger brother, the 6700 XT. So let's see how this goes. Costing $400, this high-end 5700 XT has a 1605 megahertz base clock and a 1905 megahertz boost clock. It has 8 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM, and this card uses the RDNA 1.0 architecture. The way it connects is through PCIe 4.0 by 16 if your system supports it, and it takes up about two PCIe slots. It has one 8-pin power connector and one 6-pin power connector, has three DisplayPort 1.4s, and one HDMI 2.1. It has an amazing looking blower style cooler with a very small heatsink under that shroud. And just like most other cars that AMD made, it has a glowing Radeon logo that cannot change color. Costing $479.99, the 6700 XT is another high-end card released by AMD March 3rd, 2021. It has a 2321 MHz base clock and a 2581 boost clock. This card also uses the new RDNA 2.0 architecture and this card supports ray tracing, so NVIDIA is no longer alone. The way that this card connects is through PCIe 4.0 if your system supports it, and it takes up two PCIe slots. It has three DisplayPort 1.4s and one HDMI 2.1 port. It has a dual dissipation cooling system that looks really cool, and of course it has a glowing red Radeon logo that cannot change color. Now I'll be testing the cards side by side to see how they do against each other. Now, because I changed the thermal paste and thermal pads for the 6700 XT, I decided that it was fair if I changed the thermal paste and thermal pads for the 5700 XT. That way we can make sure that it's a fair and even fight, and so that I can get consistent test results. Now, HP made this video card, and it's an OEM card. For some odd reason, they have the fan controls for this card locked. I cannot access it. So what I did is I made a special adapter that allows the fan to be controlled through normal PWM instead of micro PWM. This allows the fan to reach its full potential. So I'll be including both BIOS curve temps and my curve temps. Here's what I got. Wow, what interesting results. Very consistent on some tests, and you can definitely see a very big difference between the BIOS controlled curve and my custom curve. But other than that, the 6700 XT definitely showed the 5700 XT who's boss. This just shows how much AMD has improved on their video cards. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like, dislike if you didn't, comment down below which GPU you prefer, or if you'll just stick to good old GeForce. And until next time, you guys.